Hey everyone, this is Sean here. I've got a little tech how-to and a little uh, review all-in-one. I'm going to be doing a quick comparison of the Walthers versus Athern well cars and piggyback cars. So this is specifically comparing these Athern cars, I don't remember what they're called, they're Husky Stacks, to the 53 foot well cars for uh, Walthers. Now this is the newer production run, this is an older production run, but they're essentially the same everywhere in between, other than those came with plastic wheels, these came with metal wheels. So let's get down to the meat of it. Um, there's a couple of things I want to bring up. Anytime you get a car from the value brands of Athern and Walthers, there's work that's going to have to be done. Um, for the Athern piggybacks here and the Walthers piggybacks, there's some common designs that, or issues between these designs that I've had to remedy using some different um, tactics. So for instance, when you get these cars, the way the coupler's mounted in here, you can see there's an extra draft box in here, or whatever it's called, that helps this coupler get more swing. You see that yellow box in there that slides? Well, to get the coupler height down, because these cars are so far off on one end, I've actually had to flip that box just to get the coupler height where I need it. Now that makes things a little bit sloppier for that coupler, so if you've got a lot of play, that could be an issue. Now what you can do is also take a very thin piece of styrene and glue it to the top and that'll help you out as well. The next thing for Athern is with these UPS trailers. Now the modified one is to my right. You can see those are tucked in. Those wheels are tucked in very tight. They're not sitting on the edges of the flat car and they also don't spin. They do, it's very little. Whereas these guys are much looser and they do spin. Problem is, you can see them sitting outside the uh, wall of the trailer there. They sit up on the side of the flat car. So one thing you can do to fix that is to actually push the tires in on the back side where you're not going to see it and then set it on the car. Now, what I did was I actually took this little cover off, cut those axles and glued them in. So I just used Elmer's glue just in case I changed my mind. I ordered another set of axles and I want it back to the way it was. But just some Elmer's glue will keep it in place enough to keep it from coming off the trailer. So with that down there, um, I'm picking these cars up for about 20 bucks. I'm putting, you know, $3 worth of couplers on there. I haven't had to do wheels on these. I haven't had any issues with them derailing. Now let's get on to the Walthers. So as you can see, I've got some I've got Walther's trailers on Athern cars, and I've got Athern trailers um, and Trainworks trailers on Walther's equipment. Now with the Walther stuff, I've had the same issues with coupler height, and I have the same remedies. You can either stick one of these little red wash washers in there, or you can change the coupler height by flipping that draft uh, the swing arm. Uh, one other thing that I've done with these is I've swapped out some of the wheels. This particular car in front of us has semi-scale couplers and semi-scale wheels. It runs fantastically well. The original Walther's cars seem to have a lot of drag in the wheels for some reason. So I always ream them out with this little truck tuner. You get that from, uh, I think, Microscale or Microengineering. I think it's Microengineering. Something like that. But I do love these twin 45 flat cars they fit the Athern trailers on there perfectly and i've got a small fleet of those Athern trailers now the walther's cars i'm picking up for 20 bucks as well you can fit two 45 foot trailers on there as opposed to the 40 foot or 40 or uh other size trailers the Atherns do run well they have a little more fit and finish i think they both have chunky steps they both have chunky platforms um it kind of comes down to your taste and what era and what train you're modeling. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much to me, so I've got a mix of both. If I had to choose one, I would probably choose Athern, just because um, of the fit and finish a little bit. you got some hand-applied details on there that you don't get on the Walthers. Um, everything on the Walthers is cast except for the uh, fifth wheels, and those obviously are hand-applied on both models. But there's a little more to stand out on these, and that, again, is part of the difference of the actual model itself, not the 
detailing from the company. Not just the detailing from the company. Now to the well cars. Um, a quick toss up. I'd have to give it to Walters on this one. Um, I'm picking up the Atherin Walt cars without tri without the cubes for about twenty bucks a piece, and I'm picking up the Ather uh, Walters well cars for about twenty bucks a piece. Uh, the biggest difference, right? Um, uh, in ascending order, I'm going to say is weight length and then quality of the build so with that walters on the left here you've got a little more length you've got a little more a little bit more weight being that it's all metal and then it seems to just fit stuff in it better um i don't have stuff that just barely fits i mean you can put walters or atherin containers in it whereas in the atherin car only atherin containers fit so a part of that's due to the design of the walters containers having um, more than just a, a hole, it's actually a slot for the cubes to stack into, whereas Atherin just uses a straight uh, a straight up hole. Uh, one other issue is with the Atherin cars, I have to keep either adjusting the wheels or putting different wheels on there because they are on the inside um, of the NMRA standard. They do fit, but it's pushing it. And uh, they do write up and switches occasionally. I've had that as a problem. Something I've also had a problem with on many Atherin, of these Atherin Husky stacks is the um, the threads that the screw goes into for the coupler pocket is actually split or has a lot of flash on it. And you got to either cut it off, set, file or sand it down, or drill out your coupler. Well, I've been kind of lazy and just kind of futz with it enough to get it to work half decent. Um... And on top of that, the uh, fit and finish on the Atherin cars compared to the Walthers for the money. It's about the same, but it's finer detailed on the Atherin. I mean, it, it really depends on what you need. Uh, again, it, they're both fine models for the money. Um, you kind of need the best of both. Um, the Atherin cars will definitely take an 18-inch radius. I've had no issues with that. The older Walthers comes with a 33-inch Plastic coupler, the newer Walters comes with, or plastic wheel, the 30, and then there's 36 inch metal wheels on the newer Walters cars. Um, and the problem with that is the one on the right in the yellow at the 36 inch metal wheels scrapes, whether it's turning, leaning, or not. I don't know why they did that, but it was probably just a matter of there it was, it was in hand, just do it. So I'll be putting 33 inch metal wheels on there and on these. And they should run better. I'll be putting 33 inch uh, Intermountain wheels on these as well just to help those out. Everything else seems to run pretty good. Um, I haven't had too many issues. I've only upgraded the one Walther's car just because I was going a little uh, crazy on putting semi-scale wheels on everything at the time. And it does it does run really well. I've seen no difference uh, with those versus the standard metal wheels from Intermountain. But it looks a little bit better when it's at the end of a train. You don't notice it otherwise. You can't hardly see the wheels under these things anyways. But that's it. Um, it basically comes down to what you need. You're going to have to modify or clean them all up anyways. Um, I highly recommend getting that truck tuner. Um, I think, oh, it's Micromark. You can get that through Micromark. And then uh, the red washers you can get from KD uh, off the shelf at your hobby shop. Um, these cars are all going between twenty and thirty dollars, um, depending on where you buy and what the discount is. So it's a nice, it's not a bad way to build up a train. I recommend getting a little bit of both, just to change it up a little bit. You never see that. I've never seen a solid uh, stack train of the same cars, but uh, I mean they all run well with a little bit of work. I've never had a car that I can just put on the tracks and go, except for a couple of high-end brands and Atlas. So with that, I'll leave you to it. Have fun. I hope the video was helpful. And take care until next time. Bye now.